You know, you went in, you spent some time. Tell me how many, how many years did you spend for, for uh, armed robbery? Uh, four years. Four years. So let me begin with you. When you saw this happen today with Aaron Hernandez, and you know he's going back to that j jail cell and then heading off to prison for the rest of his life, what is that like? Uh, it's, um, and, and I, to clear this up, uh, one, I don't understand the, uh, the reality of going to life or going to prison for life, uh, but I do understand the, uh, the experience you have uh, when uh, you're, it's leading up to the day when it's time to get sentenced or you're trying to uh, uh, hear the verdict of what your future will be. I know about the prayer that goes into it and uh, uh, the anticipation and the optimism that you're trying to have uh, coming up to that point. And I also know what it feels like to hear uh, out the judge's mouth on basically where you're going to be. Uh, and no one uh, wants to go to prison for a day and no one wants to go to prison for life or for seven and a half years in which that I got sentenced. And uh, when I had tweeted out earlier, I said I can understand that feeling uh, because for a large part you're standing there and you see people moving, you see the cameras around, uh, you understand that your family's there, but you're just numb towards the situation. And uh, it's almost like uh, this, uh, it's like the spiritual emptiness that kind of hits your feet. And uh, you know, just, it's just like a, it's like a feeling that you get inside. It's like uh, inexplicable. And uh, just transitioning back to the cell, like you'll, you'll get there and they place you in a holding tank before you go back to the actual county jail. Uh, you just kind of sitting there like, man, this is my reality. And I had seven and a half years and there's not a lot of optimism or, <clears throat> excuse me, there's not a lot of energy that you can build up to just make yourself uh, feel joyous in that moment. And, and, it, and it wasn't to any disrespect to the, to the victim's family. Uh, just mm -hmm. to keep things in context, I was referring to um, uh, just understanding how that moment felt, just as if, uh, if my mother watched the thing and she seen uh, uh, another mother crying, she would identify with that lady in that context, uh, mm -hmm. but her son wasn't going to prison and, and that's the context that I was speaking in.